right, folks, better late than never. A uh, record of Agris War Zero Limited Edition came a little bit later than expected. It was supposed to be released last Tuesday. Uh, it got delayed until, for me at least, until Friday. But uh, we did come through on our promise finally, and here you go. And it's kind of funny, last week when we were talking about it, we, we didn't actually mention this by name. But we did sneak in the music from the uh, the previous release, which was, you know, record of uh, Agra Spore. And our boy, the completionist, actually caught that, no problem. So I, I didn't even realize that we were talking about it, and yet we didn't, like, officially mention it. Not like we're hiding it, but... Uh, yeah, well, you can, tell, uh, you can tell the guys who know us the best. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> I'm reading your mind. All right, so as Big Mike said, better late than never. Let's crack open this Alrighty. beautiful box. The tradition. So first we've got, we've got some gorgeous artwork on the cover here. Now this is the Xbox 360 version, but it also is this time finally available on the PS3, where the original was um, available on the Xbox in disc form and on the PlayStation 3 as a download only, so thankfully both versions got the full retail version this time. Good stuff, especially for special edition love for the PlayStation 3 exactly. owners. Exactly. It's good to share the love. So we've got some gorgeous artwork here, some of the characters, and one thing I really noticed Actually, there's a shot at the back. I'll show you what's inside in just a second. There are some of the, some of the girls for you. Nice. Alrighty, let's see what this, what the weight was finally worth it on this here. Okay, and first as usual, we'll start with the game. And this time we actually got different artwork. So that's a nice little touch. We've got the special edition artwork on the uh, on the box and the regular retail version artwork on the disc. And that is never a bad thing. A little bit of art. Some wonderful character design there. Good stuff, and uh, since uh, the last game was a bit of a questionable release, I just want to quickly <laughs> bring attention to the uh, to the teen rating for alcohol reference, mild fantasy violence, mild language, partial nudity, and sexual themes. Sexual themes? Oh, Sounds like a winning recipe to me. <laughs> Alright, thankfully, we got the soundtrack. Love it when we get games with soundtracks. And just having a look here, yeah, soundtrack CD, not soundtrack sampler. So thanks guys, it's, it's really hard to <laughs> enjoy good music when they're at 30 second snippets. So good on you boys. And it makes our channel sound better. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> this is going right towards the Mac. All right, and next they gave us a nice little art book. And unfortunately, as I found out, you didn't really see when I was digging it out, but uh, yeah, it got a little damaged when it was in there. Yeah, that's that's a little mangled. Nothing uh, putting about you know 60 pounds of pressure on it for over a week won't uh, won't flatten out. Let's see what's inside. All right, so let's show off some of these characters here. Now the the original game, as Terrence mentioned, got a little bit of controversy because it was uh, it was like a RPG slash strategy slash date simulator. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing I mean. wrong with that at all. Just at least for uh, Japanese audiences are very used to those style of games. Not so much over here in North America. What was the deal that was going on with a certain big chain video game store? Oh, excellent point. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, a few of our YouTube uh, viewers definitely noticed in some of our videos, I have the, the Agra Store really naughty edition hanging out uh, in the back there of my game room. And when that came out, there was actually a memo handed out to GameStop employees to pull it off the shelves and leave it behind the counter. Because apparently they were, uh, they were too worried about parents getting very upset by seeing the artwork on the on the giant box. Oh well, at least they didn't like completely pull it and didn't sell it. <laughs> but as we uh, as we've mentioned several times, by the way, that's gorgeous artwork. I'm not commenting much on the artwork, but you guys can see that's just gorgeous. Um, as we've discussed before, the uh, the covers of like Gears of War or Call of Duty where there's explosions and people pulling guns is absolutely fine. But put a, a woman showing a little bit of flesh on the cover. Holy crap, call the police. Yes, I think Big Mike may have to leave this book behind at my place. All right. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so there we go. A little bit of damage, but gorgeous artwork inside. All right, now hopefully we save the best for last. And what's inside? The pretty little box. And actually, honestly, I don't even know what's in here. I've uh, once again successfully kept away from everything that's inside Special Edition to make myself surprised. That's a nice little touch right there. It's kind oh. of an overlaying flap. Very simple on all sides. Let's see what's inside. Alrighty. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty pretty. Actually, let's flip this over so you guys can see. There we go. Some uh, more gorgeous artwork. And inside this frilly little material, 
got a <laughs> couple of Decker cards. Of, actually, that one's uh, that one's quite small. Let's see what's inside that one. And it's oh, some styrofoam in there. Yay, styrofoam! <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look. What we got here. Yo, can I call that or what? Deco <laughs> cards. All right, so it looks like these guys have gone and done artwork for the main face cards, but unfortunately the numbered cards did not get the same treatment. That seems to be the standard for specialized cards. Like you need to get... Yeah, I like that one. I'm going to that one somewhere else. Not bad. <laughs> I remember I actually had a, a deck of Sailor Moon cards that I got from a dollar store in 1996. Uh, to kind of piss my girlfriend off at the time, she hated Sailor Moon, and I did this really obnoxiously bad impersonation of Sailor Moon, or or, or a woman saying Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Sailor Moon! Which, over the years, my voice has gotten lower, so I can't do it as well. We get the idea. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We having poker night with these, or what? I don't know, these are my three favorites right here. I don't know. We're, we're, we're gonna keep those on display. Just, just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not commenting on that. <laughs> All right, now let's see what's inside the smaller box here. This is a little guy. All right, and the second deck was actually a deck of skill cards, which uh, Terrence and I both really know what those are, and we will go in great detail what skill cards are. Yes, skill cards <laughs> are cool, right, guys? Right? What's on the other side of them? Uh, just like normal playing card, they've all got the same all right. artwork on the back. But they're skill cards. Cool. So if, uh, you know, instead of us uh, sitting here for half an hour explaining what uh, skill cards are, how about, um, you know, how about a couple of our, uh, our regular viewers just maybe make a comment down there and you can tell you can tell everyone what they're for because, uh, you know, Terrence and I know so much about them, we wouldn't want to bore you with all the crazy details. I know, like just the minutiae of details we would put into the glory that is skill cards. Skill cards! Alright, there we have it folks. First of all, we want to thank two people for this. We want to thank you guys for being patient and waiting for us to post this video and still watching it. And like always, we gotta thank these nice little independent companies, Access Games, for taking a chance and putting together a very nice box set on an obscure J uh, Japanese game that uh, I'm sure will not sell as many as the new Call of Duty. So thanks to them. Yeah. Mm. Oh well, what can you do about that? Maybe, <laughs> maybe EA has a winner with Battlefield 3. Also guys, we had promised it before and the memories of short in the world of the internet. But we actually do have four unboxing videos coming your way. One, well actually three that we we're labeling the NIS trilogy. Yep. And then the other one is? And our, uh, our most uh, requested unboxing, that um, uh, Legend of Heroes. Trails, 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 something. trails in the Sky, something like that. Yeah, yeah, some game. Yeah, some game, you know. <laughs> well, anyways guys, we got all that coming, so thanks for your patience on it. Um, filming has been hectic lately and uh, we actually have a bit of a backlog, so uh, thanks for watching this video. Next week we're going uh, to show some love with a pretty uh, funny video, hopefully we can get it done in time. Yep. And then we'll show you the, NI the NIS trilogy and then that, that trail hero thing we're talking about. And uh, also guys, we will be showing... Uh, our video where we reveal the winner from our absolutely awesomely spectacular contest. It's it's going to go down in history, I think. I think people will be talking about our, our horrible, horrible contest for years to come. This is true. There will be contests based on our contest. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, hope you enjoy this. And uh, anybody that plays the game as well, give us uh, your thoughts and let us know what you think. And please don't forget. To help all of us out, since we know so much about skill cards, let us know what the fuck they are. And what the heck are these again? What are, the, what are these? Oh, right. I, <laughs> don't you supposed to start fires with or something? No, oh. I know what these are. X-Men. <laughs>
do. Wait a minute. Uh, wait. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Family show. Family show. <laughs> We're classy. What's up with this? <laughs> 